Hello everybody, I just wanted to make a relatively quick video showing how we transfer the iPad home button between displays. Um, I've seen it talked about quite a lot on various groups and this is my input on the situation. So to start we need to remove the home button off here. So I use the heat gun this is set at 200 degrees and I'm just sort of moving along like that just get a bit gets a bit caught up here it will peel away once you get to this point there's the bit sticking off it there so I'll use the little chisel to get underneath that as long as you're careful here with that you can get the chisel in there and remove it like that. So once that's removed, we can move on to the bracket. So the same again, just using the chisel blade thing and 200 degrees heat, to peel it away. And then once I've got that off, I'll just run around the edge, sort of pry it up. like that that's removed now and we can chuck the old piece of glass in the bin and now we need to decide whether we're going to keep the gasket or remove Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the rubber gasket and I'm going to chuck the plastic gasket because our new screen will have the plastic gasket. I hope, actually, this is the first time I'm using this X07 brand, actually. Hey, let's have a look. So, X07, I presume these are like the FX5, yeah. They look almost the same, different branding. Yeah, they've got it's got the plastic gasket on there already um, so that means that we can just transfer that straight onto there now at this point there's no or there's very little sticky stuff on the back of here so I'm going to run some 2 mil tesser tape along there and the purpose of this is just to make sure that it's not going to flop around. Obviously it's too long, but we'll just cut it off. With the scalpel. And then whenever I reuse anything sticky, we're gonna use the primer. Just get a little bit on there. It's just gonna reactivate the sticky stuff on that on that rubber gasket, and I just find that it seals way better. A little bit of something, possibly glass on the gasket there. There we go. So that's stuck on, and that'll hold really well. And then we'll just peel the backing off that, and that's where our home button will sit, just like that. So, I don't think that bit needs too much explanation, but it's how this bracket sticks on that's often discussed. So, let's zoom in. And first of all, remove all the adhesive from that bracket. I use the scraper. And then a stiff brush with some acetone on. Because that's going to sort of do a great job of brushing it off and getting it all the way. And then just 
make sure that it's all clean. The clean room wipe. I'm using acetone here because it just dissolves the uh, the adhesive rather than just shifting it like alcohol does. I find that it dissolves it and uh, makes it better for clean up on metals. Don't use that on plastic. So back with the primer. And I'm going to add a little bit of prime on there. I've acquired a hair. A little bit of prime on there. Don't really bog it down on that bit because it'll take ages to dry. And while it's drying though, you're going to get some more primer just here and just here. It's not just about priming it. I find that just the Tessa sticks so much better to, to a prime surface. So now that's primed, we go back to our bracket and I'm going to get some 5mm Tessa tape, stick it to that side. I try and avoid touching, making contact with the sticky surface of the primer. Let's just move the camera a little bit and then cut there and same again. If you get oils onto it, like skin oils, it reduces its adhesive properties. So there we go. We've got a couple of little sticks of adhesive on there. And we can go ahead and stick this guy into place. Just peel. there and peel there then hold it with your tweezers then just dropping it into place so it sits in the middle like that once you've got to this point make sure it works it needs to feel Oh yeah, original. If it doesn't, if it feels laggy or if it's sinking a little bit, you need to adjust, adjust that or make sure that it's stuck down and there's no obstructions. Because if, if there's any doubt at this point, it's probably gonna fail in the future. But, that's good now, I'm happy. Once it's in place and you're happy with it there, we can use some UV curing sort of resin around the edges, all the way around. I've decanted mine into these uh, black syringes so that it doesn't go off in the tube um but yeah that that goes on there like that and then using the uv light we're just going to cure that so that is as close to the original sort of that clear adhesive what um what they come with as i've found i've not found anything like that and i use that for all kinds of jobs like um on the back of charging ports just get some uh, get some cover on that use it as an overfill on uh, on logic boards it's really really handy um but yeah once that's had a few seconds that's done that's that's literally done so that now we don't have to wait that glue's set i don't have to clamp it i don't have to leave it an hour it's literally it's ready it's ready i can i can stick this onto the ipad now and like five minutes from now i can give this back to the customer it's ready so that's the benefit of using the uv curing glue and if you want to try and pull that off good good luck because that look you can see i'm pulling pulling up with the and it's bending the 
the display, but that's not coming off. That's, re that's really solid. But, and then to remove it, you might think, oh, well, that's too hard. No, a little bit of heat again. Get underneath it with the chisel and it comes off easy if you need to take it off. If you need to adjust it or anything, it comes off easy, but you need to use heat. Nobody's gonna pull it off. It's not gonna push off from the other side. It's solid, it really is solid. And that, you, honestly, kids can hammer that all day. Bash the fuck out of it. Nobody's pressing that in. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see other videos like this, anything explaining. I'm happy to do that. So just to add on to what I was saying, like that, that's it now, the thing's on, it works. And it works perfect, like it's not stiff, it's not too loose, it's, it's ready, it's ready, it's done. So yeah, thanks.